Brown University professor making headlines today. He wants to see the legal drinking age lowered. By years, and this comes on the anniversary of when the drinking age was raised to 21. Allison Bologna standing by in the newsroom with more. Allison? 30 years ago today, this has quite a few people talking. We tracked down the professor today who was more than willing to explain his point of view, and he's firm on believing that lowering the drinking age is reasonable. But as you guessed, there are plenty of people against that. I think it's much too high. Meet Professor Dwight Heath, a Brown University anthropology professor and author. He believes the legal age to drink should be lowered. As we look around the world and, and throughout history, we find that uh, those places or societies where people learn to drink earlier uh, there are fewer problems. This conversation comes upon the 30th anniversary of when the drinking age increased to 21 years old. And what gained some national attention is how low this professor believes the legal drinking age should go. At least down to 18, uh, which is the age of majority for everything else. I'd be just as happy if it were five or six years. The professor says where children in other countries at that age learn to drink around the family table with meals and culturally supported situations. But those from advocacy groups like Mothers Against Drunk Driving object to this point of view. The reason that the law was enacted in the first place was because there were so many traffic fatalities. And since it's been enacted in the last 30 years, we have seen upwards to 25,000 lives saved. For that reason alone, the law should stay exactly the what it is. So you're well aware that folks from MAD, for instance, will completely object to this point of view. What's your response to them? What it always has been for uh, 50 years of my academic career, uh, just take a look at the facts. Again, uh, as an anthropologist, I'm looking historically and cross-culturally. All right, so there you have it. Representatives, though, from MAD say they will continue to publicly speak out against any policy regarding lowering a drinking age. Allison Bologna, NBC 10 News.